August 13th, 2009, 3.50 p.m. Colorado time. Is this Ray? Uh, hi, Ray. It's John. It's calling you back again. Hi, John. Did you get my message from yesterday? Uh, no, I didn't. Oh, okay. I left you a long message yesterday. Um, um, I'd like to apply for whatever services you provide there. I'm having all sorts of trouble um, getting my ex-wife to uh, provide access to the children and and um, uh, quit denying visitation. Okay. Well, you guys ever married? What's that? Yes. Then you, do you have a parenting, uh, quote unquote, parenting time? Yes. And what's her issue? She, she's doing everything she can, Ray, to. Uh, to ruin my relationships with our my my children and and she's been working on this for over four years now. Hold, hold on just a second, John. Okay. Okay. I've been on hold now for almost ten minutes. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi, Ray. Hey. Say, I'm calling long distance. Uh, he left me on yeah, I'm on hold there for almost ten minutes. Sorry. Uh, that's okay. a, that's all right. Uh, yeah, it, it, if you're kind of busy right now, I I can I can call you back at a better time. Or if, if you well, got a couple sure. minutes, I'd like to tell you why I'm calling. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'd like to apply for whatever services you provide. Yeah. Uh, I got I got your name and number from uh, uh, somebody at the state um, uh, uh, Department of Human Services, mm -hmm. and um, uh, they said that uh, that you're the Jefferson County department that receives the um, the federal funding for the county uh, for what they call access and visitation grants right is that right yes so uh, you help non-custodial uh, parents with issues that they run into when they when they're being denied access to their children and things like that right right okay that's exactly what I need um, um, just today I I filed two motions with the court um, by the way, I don't know if I told you this, but I'm I'm in Minnesota, okay, and um, I'm a thousand miles away, and it's kind of hard to deal with this from way over here. But uh, uh, I filed two motions with the uh, court there in Colorado. Uh, one of them is uh, to require my ex-wife to provide the children's contact information uh, to me. Uh, she has refused to to respond to three written requests. Um, uh, for our children's uh, cell phone numbers and email addresses and she has uh, cut me off from all phone and email communications over the past year now so um, so I'm I'm uh, moving the courts to get two orders hopefully to um, to have her provide me that information then also to uh, to have an order that says that she has to have the kids call me at least uh, uh, every Sunday and um, at least uh, once per week, preferably on Wednesday nights. Okay. Okay, I, uh, oh, I just oh, wanted oh, to let you yeah. know. Uh, the oldest is 17, then 16, uh, 14, um, 12, and 11. Okay. What's, um, what's, what's the mom's name? Carol... Contact number for her? Yes. Home number is. Uh, uh, okay. And what's your name again, sir? John. What can you offer me? What can What can I do about this? Well, what I would like to do is is uh, maybe try to contact mom and see if if um, to, to see if she is open to just trying to um, resolve this uh, without. Uh, uh, I would also like, she has denied all visitation over the last um, two years since I moved here to Minnesota. Um, um, we have uh, court ordered, or I have court ordered uh, uh, summer vacation time with my kids each summer. Uh, uh, time at Thanksgiving and time and half of the Christmas break. 
and um, and I think uh, I get spring break every other year. I I can't remember exactly how that works, but I've I've tried to set up um, trips for the kids to come here to visit me in Minnesota and. Uh, trips for me to go to Colorado to see the kids there and the, the last one that I tried to set up was over uh, uh, the 4th of July um, let's see when was it it was uh, or hold it I, it was just after the 4th of July this year I was gonna fly out and I was gonna I had a reservation for a place up in Frisco and uh, she um, I, I left up I must have left 20 messages for the kids and and uh, she would not allow them to return my phone calls, and, and she's done this with each um, uh, vacation and holiday uh, over the last two years, and, and she just refuses to allow me any visitation whatsoever. I haven't seen the kids since May 2007. Okay. And I haven't talked to any of the kids in nearly a year now. And, um, and just so you know, I had uh, last, um, oh, let's see, when was it? In, um, in the spring of 2008, I set each one of the kids up with an email address. And I, I connected with them, and they were really excited. One of my boys was just, he was so excited to finally get a chance to, to talk to me. Uh, but as soon as she found out, she, um, she, she first started forcing them to, f um, to forward all my emails to her. And um, and then she cut them all off, and she told them that uh, they could they couldn't communicate with me anymore by email. And I I, I can list cruelty after cruelty. Um, I I've documented everything. I I could I could probably um, uh, you know talk straight for two hours describing all these um, these uh, things that she is doing to the children and. She's on a mission to brainwash my children against me uh, so that they, uh, th this is um, to cover up for several things that she uh, did to defraud the courts uh, to get, um, uh, to get a, um, uh, to skew the orders in the divorce. And uh, she's now um, uh, brainwashing the children against me. And uh, I have evidence of this and I'm, um, if I, I don't want to have to do this, but I am going to sue her for um, uh, for damages if, if she doesn't knock it off. Okay. So um, and this is a, this is a provable case of child abuse and neglect. And um, uh, I just want you to know that I, I want to work closely with you. I want to give her every opportunity to um, uh, comply with the orders and and just actually do what's right for the children. And if she's unwilling to do it, I I would like your support to um, to get my documentation on the record, and I I want to pursue full custody of the kids. Okay. Well, I'm here for you, um, John, and um, like I said, I I want to call her um, and hopefully um, try to see if this is something um, that she's willing to cooperate with. I mean, from a child from child support services. I mean, I feel like, you know, I know that child support and, and access and visitation are separate. However, I feel like if we're complying um, as ch with child support uh, in that, you know, we're enforcing this order, uh, and then she should be complying with the, with the parenting time. Order. Well, just so you know, the, the, the state's records are wrong. Um, they're showing that I am way, way behind in my child support payments, but it's not right, and I, I've been trying to work this out with the... Uh, with the executive directors at the Colorado Department of Human Services, and now I'm communicating with the Attorney General and the Federal Office of uh, of Child Support uh, Support Enforcement uh, to correct the the matter. I I do not owe child support. I am not behind in my child support, and I've never been in arrears in my child support. Uh, it uh, the county caseworkers were pulling all sorts of tricks on me. Um, um, uh, over the last three years to uh, really, really screw up my account, and it's it's just been impossible for me to to get somebody to look at the facts and and evidence and and correct my account. And uh, but but the state actually owes me reimbursement. They've refused to give me credit for over thirty thousand in payments that I've made.
I just wanted you to know that when you check the record, you're going to see that uh, that the, the county is claiming that I am uh, in arrears in my child support, and it's not true. And, and of course, my ex-wife has played off of these problems that I've had um, uh, trying to reconcile my child support account uh, to hold the kids uh, basically hostage. Um, you know, she's she's her attitude is. Um, uh, well, you know, since the county thinks that he's in arrears um, in, in child support, I'm I'm just not going to let him see the kids. You know, she just doesn't realize that uh, uh, that's that's totally wrong. If she if she wants the responsibility to take care of the kids, that's um, that's not the right thing to do. Right. I hope you agree. I agree. Okay. Right. Okay, she um, she needs to step up and and become a good mom again. I I um I hope that you can help me do this, Ray. Okay, I will do my best. Okay, and I will I will give you a call back after I touch base with her uh, to kind of give you an idea of how that conversation went, uh, and then in the meantime we can maybe just strategize something as far as um, getting this thing in front of a magistrate and having him enforce the order. Okay. Yeah, and if you could um, uh, try to try not to let her use the um, the excuses. Um, there is no excuse to deny any, visitation. I don't know of any excuses that, uh, other than unless there's been you know some type of abuse or something um, that would prevent you from having access or the right to see your children. Right, and I have never abused my children. Uh, just so you know, I, she she pulled a whole bunch of uh, domestic violence scams uh, during the divorce, uh, and she had me arrested um, on, on a phony 911 call. And I I went to court, and and um, in fact, I can give you that case number too if you want. Uh, I was, was there I was. A conviction? What was that? Was there a conviction? No, I was I was acquitted by a jury. That's, that doesn't matter. Okay. Well, there's no convictions. Yeah, I, so, but even if there is, you know, you still have that right. It just has to be supervised. So. Well, that's that's another thing that I wanted you to know, uh, Ray, because she's going to try everything in the book to convince you that I, uh, and uh, am, she was saying this throughout the divorce, uh, that I am an abusive and neglectful father and husband, and it's simply not true. I'm I'm a very good father. I was a good husband, and uh, uh, she managed to get a free and clear home that I had just paid off. Uh, just before she filed for the divorce, and um, and and she managed to uh, to get pretty much everything that she that she asked for. But uh, she is going to try to convince you that um, that I'm an abusive uh, person, and and that justifies uh, her um, refusing visitation and stuff like that. I just wanted you to know. Well, was that was that brought up during the court? with doing the uh, uh, the divorce? I mean, as far as the magistrate having that information when he made his decision to no. uh, order the parenting? There's no findings whatsoever that um, that, I, that I have ever abused the children or her. Okay, very good. Okay, yeah. and, and, but, but she continues to tell everybody that, and she's also defaming me in their schools and in their church and, and all over their community uh, to uh, cover up for this you know, big grand fraud that she uh, perpetuated in the divorce. She and her attorney were getting phony restraining orders and the whole works, and, and the abuses didn't stop after the divorce either. They continued, and, and then she started using the kids. She was um, taking the kids, to, or one of the kids down uh, to, um, she couldn't uh, fool the uh, Jefferson County uh, child protection people anymore so she started taking the kids to the uh, police station in the city that I lived in um, uh, to make um, further phony child abuse claims and and there's one of them that was uh, investigated very thoroughly by the Lakewood police and and I was found it was found to be a completely false charge and I hope you can help me Ray I, I love my children with all my heart and I miss them okay I sense that <laughs> okay so um, so anyway, I'll, I'll look forward to hearing back from you, and, and let me know when you call me back what we can do, okay? Okay, John. Okay, thank you, Ray. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. August 28, 2009, 4.22 p.m. Colorado time.
Next extension, 4654, Ray Washington, non-custodial parent specialist. I'm either on my phone or out of the office. Please leave me a message. Your call is important. Leave me name and phone number, and I'll give you a call back as soon as I can. Thanks, and have a good day. Hi, Ray. It's John Hinches calling again. It's Friday afternoon, about um, uh, 3.20 your time. Um, could you please give me a call, Ray? I, I, um, my ex-wife has now submitted responses, absolutely ridiculous responses, uh, to my motions to the court uh, uh, to get my children's contact information. And I, I tell you what, I, I just I, I need somebody to advocate for my children in a, in a situation like this. Uh, but uh, if, I, if I can't even get you to return my phone calls, uh, uh, you know, I guess I'll, I'll just have to go elsewhere. I, but I, I, I just need to know, have you ever been in touch with her yet? Uh, you said that you were going to give her a call uh, when I did talk to you a couple weeks ago. And um, so did you give her a call? Did she respond? Have you talked to her? Uh, what, what is she saying? She's obviously balking at this, um, uh, which is totally irresponsible when, um, uh, when you're caring for, uh, um, uh, five children. And, uh, but I, I need, a I need a way to, um, to, uh, respond to the courts and give the courts the correct information as to which parent is being irresponsible. And, um, and I need your help to do this. Uh, the, the, the courts have not done the right thing in the past. And so it's vitally important that, uh, that, um, uh, that you respond to my phone calls, Ray, and let me know what's going on. Uh, once again, my number is there. Please call me right away, even this weekend, if you have to. Thanks. John, please. This is John. John, this is Ray Washington. How are you? Good, Ray. How you doing? I'm well, thank you. Were you out of the office for a while, or? Yes, I have been. But, um, well, what did you what did you find out? I've called twice, left a message, uh, haven't received a call back. That's it. I haven't received a call back. I, I don't want to harass her. I, I've, I've left two messages. I asked her to call me back. I've been oh, calling I, you for a couple of weeks. And why why didn't you just call me and say that's what happened? Pardon? Why didn't you just well, call me and tell me that was... Moment. I was trying to give her a chance to respond uh, to my messages after I called her. I've been out of town, John. <clears throat> oh, you have? Yes. All right, well... Doesn't anybody get your messages uh, when when people call or what? Pardon? You have you been out since the last time we talked or what? A, I've got a I've got, I've got a list of probably fifty um, um, messages. Um, I just got back in town um, Saturday, so um, I'm trying to get through these um, through these messages. I'm trying to get to the calls. I'm busy. I'm only one person, and I'm I'm dealing with a lot right now. So. I apologize um, for the uh, uh, timing, but, you know, I, I'm doing the best I can with what I have. All right. Well, what what can we do? Can you can your department do anything for me or not? As far as what? What, what do you need done? Well, I'm, I'm trying to connect with my children. Doesn't your department help non-custodial parents gain access to their children when when the other party is uh, preventing communications and preventing parenting time and and that kind of thing? Well, there's a couple of things we do. Um, one is um, we can uh, refer for mediation services, um, and you guys can try to mediate it. Um, if she's not open to mediation, uh, then at that point you'll have to file a petition with the courts. Um, okay. Well, I think we, we need to do something. Uh, so. Go ahead and refer it to mediation, and um, uh, she's not going to respond to you anyway, Ray. I don't, did, did you say you left her two messages? Yes. Okay. Uh, she won't respond. She's uh, she thinks she's above the law, and and and. Uh, well, do you think she's going to be open to mediation? Probably not. Right. But we need to go through the process. I mean, if that's the next uh, logical step, let's. Uh, go ahead and refer to mediation. I will abide by um, uh, the mediation. She probably won't, and then I'll sue her. Okay. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna sue her for full custody. Is there any type of no contact?
contact the restraining orders in place? No. Okay. Is it a is it a private vendor that does the mediation, or is it somebody that's attached to the Jefferson County government, or what? Uh, who does yeah, it? They're volunteers. Um, they're volunteers um, through uh, the courts. Yeah. Could you uh, on on your letterhead or whatever? Would you please? Uh, uh, draft a letter to me uh, stating exactly what you did when you called uh, my ex-wife and and left her those messages and and um, and that you've received no response and and that you are now uh, recommending that or referring us to mediation. I I want to I want to have something like that so I can show the courts that I um, am the reasonable parent that. Um, that wants to do what's best for the children and the other side is, is completely neglecting their duties to the children. What, what's her last, what's the mom's last name? And what's your um, date of birth, John? Okay, what's your address? And then do you, do you actually make a, um, is there actually a form for the referral to the mediation or... And and that is that is the next step when somebody doesn't respond to your calls, right? I mean, um, what else can we do? Is there anything else? No, you know, you got two options. Um, I one is um, mediation, and the other is file a petition with the courts. Let me let me ask you something, Ray. Now, do you keep a file open for me down there? Is I, the only thing I've done is answered your questions. You would have to enroll in the fatherhood program. I want to do um, that. I, I've wanted to do that from the start. Pardon? I've wanted to do that from the start. I thought I had enrolled over the phone. No. I want to apply for your full services. Okay. So you have, um, as far as child support, um, you have those services available to you. Um, the only services um that you would be eligible for through the fatherhood program is um, I do um, um, a support group, I do uh, fatherhood classes, um, and I do um, job coaching, and also um, I do try to um, give coaching as far as how to access um, parent, uh, access to your children. Um, you already have a um, parenting order in place, right? Um, so the only other option that that you know, the only other service that really that you would be able to um, utilize is again the media. I, I can do a referral for mediation services, um, but since you already have a parenting order in place um, and it's not being complied with, you would need to petition the court to whatever court issued that order uh, you would need to petition it right I know that, that I know that Ray uh, can your office help me with any of that since you since you are uh, since you help fathers that are running into this um, you know the the custodial parent denying visitation and and um, uh, vacations and, and all the rest of that stuff uh, that's what's happening in my family what can you do what can your office do can you help me file these petitions um, and and support me and 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 say uh, yeah I did try to get a hold of her she didn't respond to my calls and so now we are file, I can't help you file a petition I can't give any legal advice um, I can't help you file a petition with the court okay well on the on that um, your your department receives funding to help non custodial parents with um, with their pro problems of access to their children and visit, uh, you know, denials of visitation and things like that. So what, what can you do other than just refer me on to a mediator? I don't get it. Again, I can I can coach you as far as what procedure you need to take. Um, example, you got a parent, you got a parenting order. You're not getting access to your children. So I can coach you to the process as far as what you need to do, uh, what what you should do um, in that situation. Okay. Which would be to petition the court for um, enforcement of that order. 
Okay, I'll get the uh, I'll, I will get the uh, uh, mediation uh, referral done today. I don't know. I, I I can't. I won't be able to get to that letter today, and probably not tomorrow. But I will try to get to it this week. Okay. And if you if you would continue to call uh, Ray until I I'll call you back as soon as this matter is settled. Uh, either way by the courts, uh, but uh, could you continue to contact my wife and and uh, I don't know if you're leaving detailed messages about um, uh, you know that I that I had contacted you and that I want um, you know the kids to call me every Sunday or I don't know if you, are you leaving detailed messages like that or no I'm I'm not leaving detailed messages uh, basically I'm just identifying myself and asking her. Um, I identified myself and asked if she would uh, give me a call back. Oh, okay. Could I get you to do that? Leave her a detailed message about what you're calling about and and what our goal is, and that is to is is to um, connect the kids with their father again. Okay. Okay. I, I I really would appreciate it if you'd stay on this. No problem. For me, Ray. Thank you, and and I'll look forward to receiving your letter then. Okay, John. Okay. Have a good week. Bye. Hello? Yes. Uh, John. Yes. Uh, this is Ray Washington calling you back. Hey, Ray. I was just able to touch base um, with uh, Carol. Okay. Um, basically, her position is she's not um, uh, denying you access to the children. The children just don't want to speak with you. Uh, she says that she uh, tries to encourage them to speak with you and they just don't want to speak with you. That's what so, she's telling the courts too, Ray. It's all nonsense. So, yeah. It's a lie. I understand. She's forcing the children to um, uh, into her hate mongering is what this is all about. Uh, she's brainwashed the children against me. and um, uh, but, but anyway, uh, uh, did you tell her that was uh, that was no excuse, or? Well, um, I, 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 the only thing I can do is just ask her to in, to facilitate that, try to facilitate that, or try to encourage the children um, to talk to you. I mean, I, I, and she actually says she's doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's a bold-faced lie. She she's been doing the exact opposite for several years, and. Uh, preventing even even on Father's Day, Ray. I I um, I'll call uh, I'll call and call and call for my kids and tell them how important it is to, you know, um, to uh, you know send cards for Father's Day and on my birthday and 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 uh, they I can't even get them to do that anymore either. She she's hiding my mail. She's um, she's forcing the kids to forward my or when they when I did have. Um, when I was communicating with them a couple of years ago um, by email, she was um, she was forcing the kids to forward my emails to her, even unopened. She wasn't even letting them read them at, at one point, and and it just immediately forward them over to her. So um, this this is a case of uh, severe emotional child abuse, and, uh, and that's where it's headed. It's it's going to go to um, uh, uh, to probably a um, a lawsuit uh, for damages for a, for child abuse, um, but what I I, I uh, is there anything else that you, that you can think that um, that your office can still help me with? I mean, can't you can't you uh, uh, scold her a little bit and say and and just tell her, hey, I've, you know, we've we've talked to your ex husband. He says that uh, you. Uh, instead of um, the children choosing, you, he says that you're forcing them uh, to go along with, um, uh, with with your your schemes. You know, can you do can that? Go back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth um, all day, and we don't have any. Um, I mean, there's nothing that I can do to other than try to encourage her um, to, to encourage the children. Um, you know, I asked her, you know, if you were to come to 
Colorado, would you have access to your children if you came out here to visit? Or, you know, asked her, was she aware of the parenting plan, uh, uh, the court-ordered parenting plan? And um, so... Um, what did she say? Her response was, if you if you were to come to Colorado, she would call the sheriff. Uh, she said that? Yeah. For what? I don't know. So, um, you know... That's See, this is, this is why, <laughs> I tell you what, it's just, uh, it's out of control, Ray. She is a, she is a criminal. She actually should be behind bars for what... Well, uh, you know, this thing is not going to get resolved until you get it in front of a magistrate, and that's that's the bottom line. Well, here, uh, let me let me ask you this. Um, I was reading online about um, you know these these federal grants that the states get um, uh, actually allows them to perform certain administrative due processes, and what what can I get? In, instead of I, I can't rely on the courts because the courts of like I've like I've told you have never uh, they're very biased um, uh, in her favor and and she's she's actually relying on that um, she can get that magistrate to do pretty much anything that she wants what can I get as an administrative process can I get your review of the uh, parenting plan which is obviously not working and it's it's she's obviously um, uh, I, I mean, if she, if she actually uh, confessed to you that she would actually call the sheriff on me and, and make another false report uh, against me if I ever showed up in Colorado, what, uh, wh what can we do? I, I would like to go through whatever administrative process that I can do uh, to gain access to my children or even get an administrative order that overrides uh, the... the um, um, the court's order, based on the program that you that you guys are funded by. I'm not sure what you're reading, John, uh, but we don't have anything in place like that. Well, the regulations, the federal regulations, when your state receives federal funding, they have to provide non-custodial parents with an administrative process so that they can... Um, uh, that, uh, if they're not uh, if they're not successful in mediation or or the courts, they can go and and apply for an administrative process to uh, uh, modify the parenting time order or or whatever it takes to to end the dispute or to uh, resolve the issue. So what I'm asking is, I I would like to apply for whatever administrative service. Um, that your that your federal funding um, requires uh, to deal with this matter without going to the courts. There is no administrative process uh, with this initiative. Both of you guys are making the same accusations of abuse. And and and. and what What do you mean? Well, she How can said, they be the same? saying that you're abusing the kids, and you're saying that she's abusing the kids. How can I abuse the kids from a thousand miles away, Ray? Um, basically, she's saying with phone messages. <laughs> yeah, well, I've been trying to reach them for, um, for over a year, you know, so naturally she's going to say that, uh, that uh, with my phone messages I'm abusing the kids. Also what? What else did she say? Uh, uh, um, basically that you're neglecting the children um, by not paying child support. Um, did she tell you that I am current in my child support? Obviously not. And that you're, you're, you're 90, she said you were 60 or 90, some, some enormous number um, in arrears. That's because she will not come clean on the payments that I've already made. She's part of the, she and um, uh, a child support worker uh, uh, have uh, been defrauding the federal government for many, for several years now, Ray. I'm, are you aware of that? No, I'm not. She, she had somebody with um, the Department of uh, Child Support Enforcement uh, alter my account right after the orders came out to establish an arrears balance that didn't exist so she could uh, start rating my accounts and, and, and um, 
uh, and suspending my driver's license. And uh, I've been asking for uh, officials to correct the account, uh, and th that original alteration remains to this day, and your office is actually still trying to co uh, collect a fictitious amount, amount that was made up. And, and my wife has um, submitted uh, several uh, falsified affidavits um, uh, to the uh, child support system to uh, defraud, defraud the process. And she, she actually obtained a, uh, the, the original order that she obtained uh, was obtained by fraud. Uh, and it's, it's way higher than it's supposed to be. Did, did, did I give you my uh, website address, Ray? Yeah. Go, go on there and click on the um, uh, perjury and fraud page. Write that down. Um, I, this is really important. She is lying to you, and I'm going to need your help to find her um, uh, committing another act of perjury. She um, um, uh, and, and another act of fraud. Uh, she is defrauding you now uh, by claiming that um, that I am behind in my child support because she knows better. Uh, but anyway, um, go to the perjury and fraud page. And you can actually read about the crimes that she committed, and you can click on the evidence. I've got the evidence posted online. Okay. So you can click on the evidence. But anyway, um, uh, this is this is really important. I, um, she is lying, uh, and she's continued to lie. Uh, I have never abused the children. She has been abusing them for over five years, Rafe, both physically and mentally. And um, and I need to, I need the um, Jefferson County's help to put an end to this. And she either needs to go to jail or she needs to go to a mental institution. You'll see that on my website. Please verify it and 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 then get back to me when when you know what I can do administratively. Okay. 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 Thank you, Ray. This is John. Hi, John. This is Ray Washington. How are you? Hey, Ray. Good. How are you? I'm good, thanks. You got my message, obviously, huh? Um, what message was that? I left uh, my most recent one. I, I left you a follow-up message. I think it was yesterday. I just wanted you to make sure that, uh, that even though you got a chance to talk to my ex-wife, that you were still intending to write a letter to me. Uh, yeah. documenting what your conversation was and I I would appreciate it if you could be as specific as you can I'm going to be reporting this to the Jefferson County Sheriff it's a crime what she's doing yeah unfortunately John I'm not going to be able to do that uh, why for you. well I was just informed by my um, my supervisor that um, any, any contact I guess that you have is you're supposed to go through the um, AG's office. <laughs> you got to be kidding me! That's another crime, Ray. What is going on in your offices? It's uh, this is uh, absolutely unbelievable. You guys, uh, you know, I, 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 I don't think you're involved in this, but there is the um, the county and state offices are, have have uh, are they're, they're committing crimes against non custodial parents. They, they don't have any right to tell you to, to do that. And you know what, Ray? You're going to be in trouble if you do. If you well, follow their... I'm just be in just trouble a, if I don't, so... Well, just a minute. I'm, 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 uh, I'm going to let you know that uh, I'm going to be including you for failure to report um, uh, any, any crimes that you witness uh, if, if you fail to report them, just like anybody else that works down there. So, And I, and I, I want... I'm, I'm requesting... Um, a detailed explanation as to what you talked to my um, my ex-wife about. I need it. I need it for the future. I need it for the welfare of my children. Who? Uh, which? Which for? Uh, which person in your office uh, told you that? Debbie Moss. Debbie Moss. Okay, she's already been reported to federal authorities. Um, I'm going to be reporting this too. Uh, I um, I I would like to make that request, uh, Ray. 
I I need uh, I need your detailed explanation of uh, what you talked about with my with my ex-wife, and I have the right to request that. And if you disclose your knowledge of the conversation, you're going to be in trouble with the law. So you can either listen to Debbie, who's also uh, who's already in trouble with the law, or uh, you can go to a higher authority and check it out and get back to me. But I I want the letter, and if, if you deny uh, if you deny it to me, uh, there, you could be in trouble and you could be named in a in a future criminal and civil lawsuit. Okay. So, could you uh, when could That's my intent. Well, you don't. I'm telling you right now that your supervisor is committing a very serious crime in, in um, suggesting that you deny me my rights. Okay. Well, I, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you, um, John. I, I, I cannot um, disregard my orders. Okay. Well, I need, who, who do you report to? Debbie is Hart. it her? Okay. And she is the she's the manager of the um, child support enforcement department. Yeah. <laughs> why why do they have your office uh, as a part of that? That's that's insane. Um, it it should be connected to the welfare department, the welfare of children department. Um, uh, could you tell me this, uh, Ray? How did Debbie Moss uh, even know about this? I believe she received an email from um, from your ex. Oh, really? I'm not sure. That's 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 my assumption. Okay. Well, they they've also there's several people down there that have been assisting my wife. Um, uh, the the um, just so you know, the original application uh, for uh, services. Uh, 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 was uh, accepted uh, by the original caseworker in your office, and it shouldn't have been accepted in the first place because uh, 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 she was ineligible. She's been ineligible for uh, services from your department from the start, and um, and the, there's all sorts of crooked dealings going on, uh, illegal communications between uh, my ex-wife and uh, people in your office. And uh, they're they're supposed to be re uh, representing children, but they're not. They're they're actually scheming with um, uh, with my ex-wife, and they they also defrauded the courts here in Minnesota uh, to get the orders registered over here for enforcement. And now I'm being uh, harassed by not only Colorado but also by um, uh, by the um, um, uh, enforcement officials here in Minnesota. Uh, and this is all. This is all started by uh, the original caseworker and my ex-wife and Debbie Moss and uh, Judy Nightingale. Do you still have a Judy Nightingale in your office? Yes. She's a part of it too. Um, uh, I need to. I need to figure out what to do here. I'm going to have. Um, I'm going to get a hold of the uh, the attorney general's office uh, and have them contact you. And um, uh, and uh, I'll let you know, uh, uh, you know that um, that it's okay to do that. I where where does uh, did, did did Debbie Moss uh, uh, tell you? Uh, did she cite any kind of authority that she has to deny me my rights? No. Okay. What? Um, I, I hate to put you in the middle of all this, Ray. It's, it sounds to me like, uh, like you know what they're doing down there, and and you don't like it. But um, uh, it's it's like you're you're just uh, you're either forced I, I, to do it or you're going to get I, fired, huh? Is I, that? I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what what they're doing. You know, the only thing I know is what I was instructed to do, and so that's what I'm doing. Well, uh, if if you um. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll have I'm, I'm going to start the the process of uh, filing a criminal complaint with the with the sheriff. I'll have a sheriff's deputy um, uh, possibly get in touch with you, and I'm also going to be uh, reporting Debbie Moss. Yeah. 
and um, uh, and uh, I don't play along with it, Ray. I'm telling you right now, I've got uh, I've got criminal complaints uh, pending with the Department of Justice at, at a federal level, and uh, there there could be several indictments issued. Okay. So um, I'm I'm glad you called. Um, I still need this, though. I'm I'm wondering, uh, have you had any uh, further contact with the um, uh, with the mediator? No, I have not. Do you, Do you have any idea what they're doing? I do not know. Have you ever had any contact with um, Cr um, Chris Voisine, the magistrate, the current magistrate? Um, yes. Okay. What What did he say? I haven't had any contact with him. Oh, okay. What, uh, what, what did you contact him about? I, I just have been in his courtroom. Oh, oh, okay. I thought, um, I thought maybe you've, uh, you've had some contact with him about this particular case or about my motions. Oh. Remember those motions I told you about that are pending in his court? Um, I still haven't heard anything on those. And, and believe it or not, my, my ex-wife is actually arguing against the best interests of, of our children you know she's she's trying to convince um, uh, the magistrate that um, that it's not in the best interest of, of the children to have continuing contact with me can you believe that is that I mean you, you actually head up the department um, that assists fathers that face this right I, I I mean this this is out of control okay well uh, once again, Ray, I, I appreciate the call and the heads up, and I I, um, I hope that uh, that you won't play any of these games that are being played down there in that office. And uh, um, and I'm glad I got a chance to talk to you because you seem like a nice guy. I'd hate to hate to see you fall into the same thing that everybody else down there is going to get nailed with. So. Anyway, I will. Um, uh, I, you may be getting a phone call from a, a sheriff's deputy here. I, I don't know when I'm going to be able to report it, but uh, I, I am going to report uh, your superiors too. Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot. Have a, have Thank a nice you, day. You have a good day, man. You bet. Bye.